Okay, so, um, been having, uh, you know, fasting's been pretty good. Um, I'm doing a little different than I did when I experimented with it. Um, when I experimented with it the first time, I, like I said in other videos, I did lose weight. Um, but I always went off big time on the weekend or on holidays. So, like, on those days I didn't fast at all. And I mean, I ate breakfast, you know, and lunch or whatever. And uh, so I find I want to be more disciplined this time. So I want to continue the fasting, whether I'm off work, day off, holiday, or, or weekends. Um, and that's what I've been doing. So, um, you know, like, I, I love breakfast foods. I've always been a lover of breakfast, but uh, something's got to give. So, um, it's really not that bad. It's not that bad. You just have to get used to it. I, um, you know, the only thing I had this morning was water with some apple cider vinegar, and you can do that. You can do that. That's uh, part of the, uh, it, it, it's, it, it doesn't raise the insulin. There's no calories, no uh, insulin response. Of course, my dog is barking in the background at nothing. Um, he barks at himself in the mirror. So, uh, anyway, I'll Try to keep this short. So, my wife says she noticed, she says, you look like you lost weight. I'm like, well, whatever. It hasn't been that long. It couldn't have been much weight. But if you notice something great, um, and I'm going to continue. And just a little aside, you know, I've been posting the intermittent fasting videos and things I like on Facebook. You know, other people like Dr. Fung and stuff. And of course, one of my contrarian friends, a guy I've known since my late teens, early 20s, has to come in and try to piss all over it and say, you know, this isn't, you know, he works for the hospital system. He doesn't, he doesn't even, he's an IT guy, you know, and he's, he's, he's terribly out of shape, you know. Um, but he's got to come in and say, this fasting is not backed by any kind of science, blah, blah, blah. And he's got to say, you should try the shred diet, you know. I once lost 30 pounds on it, and you can eat all day long, and I couldn't uh, couldn't even keep up with the eating. And I'm like, well, why the hell would I want to do that? And my insulin's going to be running wild all day long if all I do is eat all day. He didn't want to hear it. You know, why do people do this? <laughs> it's like, I'm posting some stuff. If you don't like it, move on. You know, you don't need to sit there and, 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 and piss all over it. You've never done it. Uh, I've done some fasting before. I know it works. I just chose not to continue it. Uh, this time, I'm going full bore. Um, and I'm doing it the right way. Um, and if I have to adjust along the way, I will. If I have to do more keto when I do eat or whatever, I will. Uh, we'll see how it works like this. Right now, I'm doing it. I want to try just eating whatever the foods I like to eat. Um no matter what they are, during my eating window. So that means if my wife makes a lasagna, I'm going to eat the lasagna. I'm not going to care that it's pasta, okay? Um, and we'll see how that goes, right? As long as you don't gorge completely and eat an entire day's worth of calories in that window, you should technically be okay. You should still be in a calorie deficit, and all the benefits you get while you're fasting... You know, so this is more than calories in, calories out. Dr. Fung mentions that, the whole hormonal thing. You know, this guy's trying to tell me, oh, your, your endocrine system's going to be shot, this and that. He's just parroting a bunch of garbage. Uh, I don't even know why people try to go on anti-fasting garbage. I don't even understand that. Um, it's a proven system. I mean, it's how we evolved. I mean, it's just, it doesn't take a rocket scientist or a double placebo-controlled study uh, peer-reviewed study to figure out that we evolved in feast or famine. You know, we, we went long times without eating. Our bodies are perfectly equipped to deal with that, you know. And if you're eating once a day, you don't have to worry about starvation. I mean, I, I've got enough fat on me to live a year, probably. I could probably fast for a year if I was doing it under doctor supervision. Um, I could probably not eat for a year. You know, so who the heck cares if you're eating one meal a day? I mean, why do people give a crap? You know, if, if <laughs> it's beyond me. Uh, so anyway, I'm doing the one meal a day mostly. Some days I would end it early. I'm basically going to split it up. Sorry. 
Oh, God. It's, I don't get enough sleep. Um, two dogs, a cat, a wife, and a child. You know, I don't get enough sleep. So, um, I actually got more sleep today than I got on a work day. Uh, so that's about it. The hunger isn't too bad. Uh, is a little bit here and there in the morning, mornings. Um, I don't know, the apple cider vinegar is supposed to give you a feeling of, uh, fullness or whatever. For me, I'm not sure if it gave me a little bit of hunger. It's got zero calories. It's only a little bit in a bunch of water. I mean, let's face it, it's vinegar. You know, you know, you don't want to be too sour. Uh, it was refreshing. I enjoyed it. I haven't had coffee in like two days. Uh, I still plan on having a black coffee in the morning here and there, but um, yesterday was a work day, and I did without coffee completely. I did I did not do a dry fast yesterday. I had, um, you know, basically green tea during the day and water, uh, but mostly green tea. I have um, green jasmine tea tea, a Chinese tea, and also Poo Air, which is another kind of a Chinese green tea, um, uh, during the day yesterday, and, uh, yesterday I did more like an 18 hour, uh, because I got home, by the time I ate, it was about 6.30 at night, uh, yesterday the traffic wasn't too bad coming out of New York City, and I got home, and then, um, you know, I got in not too bad, because there wasn't too much traffic in the morning, um, so the bottom line is instead of getting home at like 7 o'clock or later, I got home at like 6. And by the time 6.30 came around, you know, it was basically time to eat. Uh, so like I said, I'm not going crazy with this thing. I'm basically doing one meal a day. If it's 20 hours, if it's 18 hours, if it's whatever, it's, it is what it is. Um, uh, most work days I will do uh, one meal a day. As for weekends and holidays... I fast as long as I can. It's a little harder when you're home. Not because so much the hunger. The hunger goes goes away the more you fast. It's more the psychological, you know. I mean, this morning I'm over there cutting my daughter a bagel and buttering it because she's hungry. You know, she's four years old. you got to feed a kid, you know. Uh, so you have to have the willpower enough to be around food. You know, my wife obviously isn't doing this, so she's going to be eating. Uh, she even asked me a few times, do you want to eat? And then she's like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. You know, so, um, you know, we'll see. You, you can't be a baby about it. You have to be mature and say, you know, this is what I'm choosing to do and uh, uh, and be around food and just whatever. But it's, it's really not too bad. It's really not too bad. I mean, my wife's sitting there saying she's starving. She's starving. And, and I'm here, you know, I haven't eaten since last night. I'm not starving. Fasting does work. The body does adjust. Um, people don't seem to realize this. Um, so that's that. Uh, so, so far so good. Don't really have any weight loss. I don't even have, like I said, I don't even have a scale. I'll eventually get one, but for now I'm going how my clothes feel, how I look. Uh, my wife says she thinks she sees a little weight loss. I don't know, maybe that's wishful thinking. Um, I probably look a little less bloated. Um, and, but it's only, like I said, it hasn't even been a full week, so you have to give these things time, you know, it's going to take some time, it's not an overnight thing. Uh, most of these videos I'll basically give whatever I'm feeling, insights, and um, maybe about things I've watched, stuff like that. Uh, I really enjoy Dr. Jason Fung, F-U-N-G, his videos are great. Uh, there's another guy, I forget his name, he's like a chiropractor, he's got some good videos. Uh, then there's the other guy, I forget, he's the guy always advertising on YouTube with the with the muscles and the short hair and the six-pack. He's kind of cool, but, you know, these slick, slick produced guys, you know, keep them a little bit at arm's length because, you know, they're always selling something. It's okay to sell something, right? It's okay to sell something, but, uh, I don't know, I haven't seen a picture of this guy fat, you know what I mean? Like, he's in great shape. I, I'd like to see a before picture of him. Uh, if he's always been in shape and he does fasting because he believes in it, that's great. But uh, he never really had to, you know. I like the, the I saw this great, um, I saved this video of this guy, he's really heavy. Um, I don't know if he's over 300 pounds, 
or almost 300 pounds, uh, and he lost he lost 180 pounds. Those are the stories I like the best, where I see people who are really heavy who lost like 100, 150, 180 pounds, and they did it in like a year, a year, or a little over a year, something like that. That's the stuff that really motivates me, because I have a lot of weight to lose. I'm like, if they could do it, I could do it. And that's why I'm kind of doing this, uh, whatever. It's for my own motivation as well as uh, what it may provide to somebody else. Insights about how you feel, how you feel while you're fasting. There's people who investigate this stuff. They're not ready to take the leap yet, so they want to know how somebody who just started it, how are they doing? So this may help somebody like that. Uh, and whatever, I like to talk to the camera, so whatever. So anyway, it's almost 11 minutes here, so I'm going to just uh, cut this one short and see you in the next video whenever that is. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you feel like it. And uh, I got some some shirts I do. There's a, there'll be a link below the video uh, to Amazon where I, I create some t-shirt designs. Um, these will be specifically about, you know, fasting. Uh, because that's what we're talking about here. Okay, um, and other health things. I'll come up with other things as we go along. The, the selection will expand. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Bye.